Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and this is the start to my paludarium. Now I have documented the entire process here uh, so I thought I'd just give you a quick introduction today and then hopefully in the future I'll be able to do a complete video on this. Um, you see it is being built and designed by my friend Nick Kinzer down in DC and with the current social isolation uh, we can't really work on it and I've been having a difficult time sourcing some of the plants I want for it so this is going to be very much a marathon. Um, now that doesn't mean I can't work on it some. He's been nice enough to video chat with me for us to do the placement of the plants I've been able to source. Uh, you can see it has a lot of tannins right now so it is due for maintenance. But it, it was a really fun build so far as he did it all from scratch. He started by attaching pieces of egg crate to the glass and then using um, foam to fill it in and then pressing coconut choir, which is what's mounted along the back wall, into the foam. And then he seeded that with moss and then I seeded it with uh, that little mini ficus. And right now it's planted with some shingle plants and rabbit's foot fern. There's some tillandsias in there. Uh, some from Phytonia right there. It's got some dwarf sag down in the aquatic part. Uh, the rock is natural slate that's locally collected here. The wood is manzanita. It goes to a sump that we then created this waterfall return that I'm pretty excited about. And I really think that this is gonna be a cool tank long term. Um, it's, it's really frustrating to be working on a project so exciting and sort of have to put it on hold because of the state of the world, but I guess it is what it is. Um, I think this is gonna be one of the cooler tanks down in the basement. And I'm excited to let Nick sort of uh, fulfill his vision with this, but it's going to take some time, um, but I wanted to show it to you guys because I think I want to stock it with newts, and I was wondering if any of you had any good suggestions for that. Uh, I wanted to do something different. Um, I could certainly put fish in here, but as you can see from the intricate rock and woodwork, it would be very, very difficult to catch fish back out, so I'm thinking I want to go a different route. Um, I'm also going to put some little orchids in here and again still working pretty hard at trying to source a bunch of plants. These plants are from Josh's Frogs so a huge thank you to them and if you follow them on social media make sure you give them a shout for, for helping me out with the start of this project. Um, again I do have all of the build of this so at some point if it's ever finished and grown in I will do a really in-depth video of that. I hope you guys are staying so safe, staying home and staying healthy and I will see you in the next one. If you're interested in my plant content, I am putting out regular content on my second channel, Plantaholic, as well as on both my Instagram accounts.